Welcome back to the Angler X channel and thank you for clicking on our video. I'm back out with Jesse from Team Extreme Fishing. We're out on the Mississippi River chasing pre-spawn walleyes. We'll tell you exactly how we caught them and what we caught them on. So don't go anywhere. There's a lot of smallmouth too. <laughs> no, it's good. It's, I thought it was a smallmouth too head shakes. Yeah, but they don't do that with the tail, do they? They just go nuts. They start going all over. This thing's it's holding. coming up to the surface. This thing's holding it strong. It's got a good head shake. Maybe that's a smallmouth. Are you having a friendly competition on if it's a smallie? Yeah. Or <laughs> what it is? Just Whatever. hooked up with a smallie. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think so. You just smoked that. Angler X hair jig, whatever yeah. it was. I got that three eighths on there that you gave me. Oh, really? Yep. Well, that's definitely a smallie. Oh, I think it is. Nothing wrong with smallie. He wasn't making the crazy runs, though, you know? Yeah, they're pretty cold. So. Oh, right, the water town. Yeah, that's a decent <laughs> Yeah, you were right. Ten bucks. What's it? On that hair jig that Lance gave me, 3 8 ounce that he ties, that you could get on his website. No, you um, can't. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Someday. Hey, Smally. That's like what, an 18 inch or Yeah. That's a good sign, though, that if they're biting, the walleyes are going to be snapping too. Okay. So just a matter of time. In last week's video, I was fishing the same stretch of river, and the walleyes were relating to the wing dams in a big way. We found that the fish were tight to the upstream side of the dams and would pounce on an accurately placed cast. Jesse and I are trying to duplicate that pattern one week later but are finding that the fish are not using the wing dams in the same way. Very little had changed as far as water temp and river level so it was safe assumption that the fish were nearby we just needed to make an adjustment. This led us to trying slightly different approach and looking to back eddy areas below and in between wing dams. Faster flows off the channel end of wing dams curls back around the downstream side and creates areas of meandering flow near the bank where current impinges on the shoreline. In some cases, that current will make its way back upstream along the bank. This is an ideal situation that creates the perfect flow and ambush point for hungry walleye. Look for this current seam pattern to become even more productive as river levels rise and fish transition into post-spawn patterns. Like even up in here, it's probably got some backflow up along this bank, so that might even hold fish. Okay. The wing dams haven't proved to be where they're stacked up right now, so I'm just trying something a little different. There's one. There's shown. Looks like a walleye. Off, listen to this spot. All right, guys. Tried something a little different and it paid off. Well, we'll keep after him. Yeah, you can see the flow is actually going upstream here. It's dumping back into the. I felt that. It, it took a long time for it to get down into the deeper water yeah. and then I felt it come up onto that sand shelf right oh, back right, here yeah. and I had a, maybe two two three hops up on that shallow hop, uh, sand and then it hit it so he, <laughs> he wasn't in the deeper water so he'd probably get away with a quarter ounce up in that shell or that's what I got on oh okay yeah because you want that hang time on the jig oh. otherwise they aren't gonna always pick it up off the bottom Yes. As soon as I got it on that shelf, not sure what it is, but I think it's a smoke. Come on. 
Yeah. I don't think it'll be a smelly. There's no rocks. Just, like you said, I just started hopping it up that shelf and I felt it grab it. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> smaller or good? That's no, good. You should get it. I think it's the one you can get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does look just like just it's not, but I because mine had a split tail. Okay, we were all had to battle, but they're probably brothers, <laughs> both male fish. <laughs> went, went like Lance said, bought my jig size down a quarter in ounce. Was it had a three eighths on there? That's too much. That shelf comes up, and I was just plowing with that three eighths. But yeah, that was a deal, a quarter. Thank you. Yeah, I should. Okay. You got what? Oh, what the heck, dude? <laughs> the fluke even works on. The fluke is deadly for crayfish. That's a cool looking. He's all red. Yeah. You can actually use those for bait on the Mississippi's. And you felt that on the red clip. <laughs> you felt the thump. Yep. <laughs> he, he crunched it good. <laughs> he didn't mush it, huh? <laughs> no, he crunched it. If you guys would rather see smallmouth fishing, I apologize because on this trip we caught several smallmouth targeting wing dams and rock piles. The focus of today's outing was to catch walleye, so most of the smallmouth catches were edited out. There we go. It's a good fish. It's a tank. Yep. Yeah. That's a good boy. How do you know it ain't a small? It ain't no small. Oh, it is a small. It's a small. Blonde one. That for sure is a ball. There you guys. Another smallmouth. I was I thought for sure that was a walleye the way it hit. But nothing wrong with that fish though. Big old tank smelly. Right above a wing dam here, we got kind of a convergence of two different rock piles. One's running kind of parallel to the current. Another one's perpendicular out to a channel marker there. And I was kind of running it along that, just off that rock pile when he hit. I should have known it was a smallmouth. Yeah. Wally? Probably a walleye. I, I don't, I'm honestly Here we are again, hooking up on a walleye that was relating to a current seam between wing dams and not the actual rock structure of the wing dam. Moving the yeah. That's a cool one, eh? Nice dark colors. Yeah. Sure, man. It's just dragging or what? Yeah. I was just, like when we were down on that wing dam, I was just hanging it in the current there and I just felt doo -doo 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 and grabbed her. Did like you said and cast it out on that seam there but then when you start moving the boat i just held it off bottom it's going that's a nice one probably like a 20 inch or, oh it's a male too oh is he Milton? yeah <laughs> oh yeah look at him yeah it's getting to be that time yeah they're getting ready to do their thing this one is melting I'm slowly putting them together here We finished the afternoon on another spot that fit the pattern we discovered earlier in the day. In this situation, we were between two wing dams. The downstream wing dam had a shallow and perpendicular ridge that intersected it on the upstream side. The flow coming off the end of the upper wing dam wrapped around and impinged on this shallow ridge, a shelf that the walleyes were relating to. We made quick work of a few nice fish to end the day. <laughs> nice try though. Yeah, look at this thing. 
He's, oh, yeah. He's gooing all over the place. We're getting him dialed in. Not really, but you can tell here by the white stuff coming off him that <laughs> it is time. Uh, Water is only 38, 39, but it's been a slow day. We've got a few fish, but they've been tough to come by here. Maybe they're going to crank up here. Catching all my fish. Oh, perch. 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 That's Freaking what we're perch. After. Double perch. <laughs> <laughs> Told you they ate flukes. Wow. Looks like it's not even spawned out. Yeah. He hit the walleye. He hit a carter in the wall right there. What are you Another perch? Yep. I want to have put a fluke on it. <laughs> I got the exact same color but in a twister. But I'm going to have to do it. Starting to catch a few fish here. Just got a walleye, a perch, and now another walleye. All on that purple fluke. I don't know why I ever put that purple fluke down. Huh. That thing just catches fish over and over. Because he stole my spot. Yeah, I that stole his was. spot. <laughs> That's what a good guy does. He steals <laughs> his client's spots. How far does that shelf extend out here? It goes way down. Oh, wow. What the frick? <laughs> the shelf. <laughs> That's what, four in a row? It's a oh, better one. Yeah. Is that a walleye? Yeah, it's a walleye. That's probably why the male would have to get up. Big female. Big head shakes. Oh, On the food, because that's the female. There she is. Oh. <laughs> and she's not spawned at all. There we go. It's like four casts in a row. They're on that shelf there, real shallow, just crushing it. Might be that time of the day when they're going to crank up. Beautiful fish, clearly a female, probably, I don't know, 20 inch or 19. Put her back. Yeah, I just cut your line too. Why'd you do so, that? So you can't get oh, in the water. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, I did <laughs> Wouldn't blame you if you did. Big head shakes. It's a wally? No. That's all you get over there is small. Big, big wally. Well. Are you going to get the net? Oh, look at that. I got a tank <laughs> wally here. I admire it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. I don't know, we got visitors over here. Oh well. There's another female. Hey guys, another beautiful female. Cracking on that ridge really well. That's probably an 18 inch fish. Casting in real shallow, bringing it off that edge and, and they're hammering it. Still using that fluke. Hit it on the way up. Up hit it. You trying to knock him off? No. <laughs> yeah. He just ran his nose right into the end of it. <laughs> All right, Jesse, your turn. Nice looking male fish there. They are cracking. Mm. 
thickness. I'm not catching smallies anymore. <laughs> it's a big one. Bigger. It's fish of the day, so yeah, that's the fish of the day. Good job. I'll take a picture of that one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Another beautiful fish. They are on fire right now. I think we're hitting them just right here. All right, guys, that's gonna do it. Our little trip out on the Mississippi River. Jesse and I fished a lot of wing dams today. The smallmouth were super active on the wing dams and we caught a bunch of those, some really nice fish. The walleyes, not so much, but we did end up pulling in some really nice walleyes on some current seams and some real shallow humps out and around the wing dams. The walleye were not using the tops of the wing dams like they had been. Not sure if it was just the day or if they're starting to move into a different pattern, but we did have a good day and had some great fish. Thank you, Jesse, for coming out on the river with me today. Yeah, anytime, that was great. Yeah, it was a good good day, we got some great fish. Tons of smallmouth, I didn't realize there were that many smallmouth in this stretch of the Mississippi. Yeah, the smallmouth have been crazy lately, so if you enjoy smallmouth fishing, it's a good time to get out on the Mississippi River. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, we enjoyed making it, and we'll see you out on the water.